We now move to Ogun State where the police in the state say the command is doing everything possible to track and arrest assailants who carried out the killing of a traditional ruler, the Alagodo of Agodo, in a Wekoro local government area of the state. Yet to be arrested, suspected hoodlums had stormed the community a little earlier a week ago to carry out the evil. Although police say no suspect has been arrested in connection to the incident, but investigation is ongoing to get perpetrators arrested. Those who carried out that dastardly act, they have uh, they ran away from the police. And up to now, the police is still deserted. But I can assure you that uh, very soon we are going to get them. It's not possible for somebody to carry out such heinous crime here in Ogun State and uh, be thinking that he will not be caught. Such thing has never happened before, that a, a, a sort of uh, a serious crime like that will be committed in Ogun State without it being resolved. It has never happened before and this is not going to be an exception. The police spokesman urged the people who deserted the community to return home to allow social, economic and academic activities return to the village. Naturally, we should expect such a thing. One, for fear of a, a possible repressor attack, for fear of a random arrest, as the people might be imagine. So, but we have assured them we have been to the place. The commissioner of police, uh, police himself, was there in person, and uh, the state uh, government representative has been there, and we have let them know that they should come back to live in their uh, in their homes. He who doesn't commit any crime need not fear any arrest. Those who perpetrated the, the, the crime, uh, they know themselves and uh, we are after them. We are not after the ordinary citizen. He however dismissed insinuations linking the incident to alleged crisis over the leadership between two sections of Egbaland in Abeokuta.